Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer for Monday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to center ourselves and to recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Our first psalm is Psalm 84, entitled, Longing for God's Temple. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts! My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord, God of hosts, Happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless your people, Lord. You have given us the law that we may walk from strength to strength and raise our minds to you from this valley of tears. May we receive the gifts you have gained for us. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. Our canticle is taken from Isaiah, entitled, The Mountain of the Lord's Dwelling Towers Above Every Mountain. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it, Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Our next psalm is Psalm 96, entitled, The Lord, King, and Judge of the World. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. His are majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. 
Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord. For he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have renewed the face of the earth. Your church throughout the world sings you a new song, announcing your wonders to all. Through a virgin, you have brought forth a new birth in our world. Through your miracles, a new power. Through your suffering, a new patience. In your resurrections, a in your resurrection, a new hope, and in your ascension, new majesty. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Our reading is taken from the letter of James. All we speak and act as men destined for judgment under the law of freedom. Merciless is the judgment on the man who has not shown mercy, but mercy triumphs over judgment. Blessed among us today is Saint Alexander Chamorel. He is a martyr of the White Rose, died in 1943. In the spring of 1942, a small group of university students in Munich formed an underground anti-Nazi circle called the White Rose. Its members were all motivated by Christians, by Christian faith. Whether Catholic, Lutheran, or in the case of Alexander Shamorel, one of the founders, Russian Orthodox, their subversive activity consisted of circulating mimeograph leaflets, urging their fellow Germans to uphold the honor of their country by rejecting Hitler and his crimes. Shamorel, a medical student and former army medic, also traveled to Austria to spread the leaflets. Their actions threw the Gestapo into a frenzy. The leaflets denounced the Nazi policy of euthanasia, a program aimed at those regarded as, as unfit or unproductive. They denounced the murder of Jews in Poland. Here we see the most frightful crime against human dignity a crime that is unparalleled in the whole of history. They denounced the blasphemy of Hitler's invocation of the Almighty, by which he means the power of evil, the fallen angel, Satan. We must attack evil where it is strongest, and it is strongest in the power of Hitler. Eventually, the conspiracy was undone. After Hans and Sophie Schroll were arrested while distributing leaflets at their university. The rest of the conspirators were quickly apprehended. All were beheaded. Shamorel, on July 13, 1943. In 2012, he was canonized by the Russian Orthodox Church. This is a quote of Alexander Shamorel, his last words. I'm convicted, excuse me, I'm convinced that my life has to end now, early as it seems, because I have fulfilled my life's mission. I wouldn't know what else I have to do on this earth. Our responsory, blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age, blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. His marvelous works are beyond compare. Blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Archanical of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, our God. The response to our intercessions this morning will be, God, in your justice, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, you are our strength and refuge in time of trial. In faith we pray, God, in your justice, hear our prayer. Fashion your church into a people of truth, humility, and forgiveness. In faith we pray, God, in your justice, hear our prayer. Defend those who are adversely affected by environmental disasters. In faith we pray, God, in your justice, hear our prayer. End all practices of torture and the training of child soldiers. In faith we pray, God, in your justice, hear our prayer. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, our ministers, our parish staff, but especially for our parishioners and those who may be sick or have passed away. In faith we pray, God in your justice, hear our prayer. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer for COVID-19. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels, and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our nation and world and for all our families and loved ones the protection of your holy angels that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Lord God, King of heaven and earth, direct our minds and bodies throughout this day and make us holy. Keep us faithful to your law in thought, word, and deed. Be our helper now and always. Free us from sin and bring us to salvation in that kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. May God nurture us in the school of wisdom and lead us along the path to everlasting life through Jesus, our brother. And may the Lord bless us and protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed week. Please take care of yourself and each other and may God be praised.